Hello, you great and wonderful, wonderful wolves of Coquillo, the Winter Lakes mascot are the wonderful wolves of Coquille, and we are in video production, and I uh, got presented right up here the assignment, which is watch the video boomers react to OK Boomer memes, and there's the YouTube for it, and afterwards write a paragraph about which boomer you most agreed with and why. And then I got on this morning and I said, well, man, nobody wants to write a paragraph. Or if you don't agree with any boomer, then write how you feel about OK Boomer means. Or make a short video response. So uh, my good student, Chad Waldrop, didn't uh, get the second email till this morning because that's when i sent it out but here is his assignment open the folder for him and uh error well that's perfect <laughs> so and i'm on this tab anyway let me go back to the uh, to the instructions um Chad has put on the chat box his paragraph. So what'd you say, Chad? Oh, you're muted. Whoops. <laughs> I said, I like how they react to the memes. They all think they're funny, but then they also find them offensive at the same time. I agree with the same person that Mr. R does. I think they're just for fun, and I think if people don't like them, they should just stay away from them. Also, I think if you took everything too literally, they wouldn't get anywhere in life. Also, I feel like this trend is dying because I haven't heard anyone say this before in a while. So that means you don't have to worry about it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was just a passing trend. You know how trends go on YouTube. Um, and I'm not going to play the whole boomers reacting video because it is a little long. Um, I liked the lady uh, that we're talking about. Um, Alex, I think is her name. And I did a little video about her. Let me click that up here. Now, let me ask you this, uh, my sharing, share this tab instead. So I'm gonna share this tab instead. Can you see our White Wolves of Coquille tab there? Mm -hmm. gotcha. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I'm going down to my videos, Mr. R's videos, and I know already it's, this only goes out uh, 12 videos, and then it doesn't go any farther. So if you want to see all the videos I put out there, of which I got 16, you got to click on my videos and then come over here. Um, and this is my take on OK Boomers. Also, is Mr. Rasmus in the video production teacher at Winter Lakes? And I have asked my students to comment on boomers react to OK boomer memes. And uh, I think there are like five or seven different boomers that get on and talk about. OK Boomer, and I asked my students to which one they like the best. Well, I like Alex the best. Uh, she's a lady uh, with a jean jacket on, that's all I can tell. I'll show you her comment that I like the best. It's at 518 in the video. Um, <clears throat> so, I should show you that. All right. 
I will. So there she is getting ready to play. Let me turn this so we got a little bit of. <clears throat> now I could have done this better if I made it large, but. I'm not taking it seriously. People should take it seriously. I agree with you 100. percent The divide's always been there. They've always. Let's not take it seriously. <laughs> yeah, I make myself laugh anyway. Here I am. All right. This is my tag game that I have. In February. It's kind of fun. We always do videos of our tags. There's seven of us from Taft High School that get together every February and try to tag each other. It was more fun when we were all in the school together and we could run around the school after each other. But now it's pretty serious. I mean, you got to take a couple hour trip to tag somebody. And it is fun getting back with the friends. So, so that's the the silver lining in it. Um, yeah, I think that's all we got, isn't it, Chad? That's all I got. Yeah, the Boomer memes. Okay, Boomer. It is the first time I ever heard it. Uh, a kid said it to me in the classroom after I pontificated grandiosely. And I was a little taken back by it. I wasn't sure if he was just dismissing me or what. Uh, but now that I understand the intent, you know, you can take anything. And if you mean it in a mean intent, it can hurt somebody's feelings. But I think by and large, these okay boomers, uh, they have a place. Jeez, we did saddle. We are the... For people that don't understand what we're talking about at all, I'm a baby boomer. My dad came home from World War II and he had four kids, just bam, 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 bam. It was a baby boom. Lots of the uh, soldiers that came back said, hey, time to start a family. And, and they did. And so there was a boom of young kids there in 1945 to 1960. And, uh, I think it's stretching it to take it all the way out to 60, but I think, I think that's the way they define it. And the boomers are the ones that have, you know, let the student debts become what they are. And, uh, and, and I have heard uh, my friends talk about young millennials as feeling entitled and privileged and wanting everything to come their way without working. Uh, no, for, for, for the boomer generation, you had to earn the respect. Uh, and that's, uh, so there was a little divide anywhere. You know, generations do that. Uh, and, and, and of course, being an old person, you'd hope that uh, they do respect the older generation and the wisdom that they have. But, but, in that video, there was a lady talking about climate change and she was getting heckled by a guy my age. And she did summarily dismiss him by saying, okay, Boomer. Uh, I mean, if you're going to heckle somebody, you ought to deserve a jab coming back at you anyway. Um, but I think by and large, people say it now, just... Uh, for fun, it was a passing, trending thing, I guess, starting on TikTok and then took off into all sorts of media. media. And that's how OK Boomer came about. All right, I'm done. Let's sign off. See you, Chad. Bye. Yeah.